Hello friends and family and welcome to the 2023 Las Vegas Challenge presented by Innova. This is a Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series event and the first stop of the series. My name is Holly Finley. And I'm Connor O'Reilly. Super excited to be here with you guys for day three of the kickoff of the Pro Tour season. It's our first elite event of the year. And we got some awesome action. The weather actually cooperated pretty nice for us today. It looked like it might be rainy, so everyone was prepared, but ended up being pretty nice. Up first, we have Jessica Weiss, a Team Innova member and a former Las Vegas Challenge champion. Very familiar with these courses. Next, we have Stacy Ronsley. It's her first year with Team Castaplast. We're also looking at Haley King. Once again, we saw her round one as well. We saw the power and the putting ability that she had. So let's see how she locks in today. And once again, Owen Scoggins. A treat to have her three for three so far. We know all about Owen's game by now. Let's see if she goes maybe 20 for 21 in those parked up shots and hold one a short par three but one that you got to really have the proper angle and the proper pace is the most important thing here hazard plays short of the basket until you get about 20 feet so it's really hard to park this one most good shots are a little bit long putting back at that out of bounds or at that hazard i should say we saw Haley make a pretty sweet putt out of that bushy palmetto on the right during round one. And let's see what this selection they choose here. Hopefully some nice slow plastic. Jessica making a switch from that forehand flex fairway driver that she threw round one going with the backhand looks to be maybe a mid-range and that looks nice out of the hand i'm glad to see her reaching for that backhand because she showed how good she is with it as much as she did rely on the forehand round one almost rings that one up from fishers indiana stacy rosley And the ladies are playing the infinite course today, which is what we played also on day one when it was extremely windy. Nice overstable putter looks to be from Haley and just a bit low, but has enough to scoot up. That's going to be a great spot. You don't find yourself short of the basket here very often with a putt in inbounds. Here comes that yellow pig again. Safe. Four chances at birdie. Stacy Ronsley up first. Looks like she's got a new putting stroke. Ooh. Came out pretty clean. The tailwind just dropped it maybe a bit more than she anticipated. And not a bad miss with the out of bounds looming long. It showed the confidence to run it. Weiss a bit short on her tailwind putt. Not capturing the birdie here. Own, on the other hand, smashing that birdie putt. Not short at all. Yeah, that one was centered up about six inches over that cage, exactly where you want to hit it. 
Haley King's first putt looking really strong. She'll take the birdie here on the first. Yeah, today it felt nice out. Yesterday it was hard to get a grip on your plastic. The conditions were just a little bit weird and today it actually felt nice. The sun was out and it made a difference on the, the ability to score for sure. Here we are on hole two, a 333 foot par three. You can play this hole a couple of different ways, but really the main goal is to get over this hill in front of the basket, give yourself a look at it so you can get a clean putt. Otherwise, you're gonna have to contend with a tricky upshot, possibly a loft shot, or maybe even a trick shot to get over these bushes, give yourself a clean layup and take home a par. This hole is very reachable for this division, so I'm expecting to see some twos here. Haley King up first. Oh, just catches that bush, whereas if she clears it, she's skipping right up there to a nice comeback putt. Gonna be tricky from there though. She's gonna have to throw something pretty lofty. Oh, I've never seen anyone go to the left side of that tree before. So owns up there about circle's edge of circle two. Jessica hangs this out nicely. And gets up to the top of the hill. It's going to be a runnable putt, but it definitely runs away behind. So she'll probably give it one of those soft bids. I like this play, taking the right side and then swinging in. Man, Stacy has a lot of power. Wow, yeah, pushing it deep and hangs it out of bounds. Finds that OB line. That was just too straight of a diss there, maybe, for her power level. Own a bit further away than I thought. She gives herself a good upshot. She'll have about a 25-footer for par. Stacy chipping that one long and gonna have a another oh no, out of, out of bounds, bounds again. That's unfortunate. Stacy needs to reel it in here. We have Weiss for her birdie putt. Going with that floaty Anheuser bid and just on the band. That was good to see her running that putt confidently. I'm getting deja vu. I've seen her cash long putts before on this very green. Haley gives oh, hers a bid. Kind of skips off of Jessica's disc a little bit too. She'll be close for a tap in par. Yeah, tough hole for Stacy, but early in the round, hopefully she's able to shake it off and get a little birdie stretch going. I want to have a very good touch on that approach to not put it too far long while coming over those bushes. Own and Haley both walking away with pars here on hole two. Still a little bit of work for Stacy. One of those putts, you know, you don't want to have to do any more work on this hole at this point. So good to see that left side catch it. Jessica almost getting the two here, but not quite. She'll walk away with a par. Hole three is a par four at 675 feet, teeing off out of this golf teeing area and down into the dust. We see most players trying to get just to the edge of the dust here. The trick is to not let your disc fade to the left and not flip it over into the tree line to the right. If 
you can manage the fade of your disc off the tee, the upshot is very attackable with this left to right slope collecting all the right hand backhand shots nicely. Definitely a hole that's very tee shot dependent. If you can land anywhere near the drop zone, that gives you about a 330 foot upshot. And anything on the right side is safe, so a lot of people sort of just bail out over there because they don't even want to sniff the left side at all. Why would you? It's completely out of bounds. You can see Own, she's doing a similar play where she swings it right. We thought maybe she had a late release, but I feel like this is a purposeful part of her game. Yeah, she definitely seems to be comfortable with that yank over shot and trusting the late fade of her disc coming back. We sending it to the right. Gonna let the disc work back left. Everyone's safe so far. I'm loving seeing some more backhand out of Jessica. She's she's really throwing it clean. Well, you asked for it. Did she listen? I don't know. <laughs> Ronsley also taking that right side. This one's gonna need a bite on the ground and that wind is gonna help. You never know out here until it drops though. There's some weird ground play you can get. Sometimes it's hard to understand. Hmm. Just a bit much there, but honestly, still has a long bid, pretty runnable for that birdie and no harm, no foul in a par here. Stacy's shot is about from the drop zone and she sends it to the right side. It doesn't get much of a hyzer finish, so she'll probably have about an 80 foot up shot. Maybe a putt if she's feeling super aggressive. Yeah, maybe a bit of that headwind to blame for those discs holding straighter than those ladies assumed they would. And this looks great. That was incredible. It was standstill as well. Haley yeah, King showing us just how talented she is with both the forehand and backhand. She really drove it into that hillside and matched the slope nicely coming in and own parking another upshot. Looked like a jumper layup. I don't think there was really any intention in going for that. Yeah, while it is a very runnable angle, it's also sloped enough to where you hit the cage and drop, you can definitely roll back. I feel like Jess was going for that all day. Yeah, she definitely was. She showed some incredible touch with that forehand and can definitely use it as a putting option where in a lot of players, that's a no-go. Haley King captures a birdie here on the third hole. Her putting stroke is looking super clean today. Yeah, she doesn't work too hard, really uses all the levers on her body and comes out with some nice pop. Jessica knocking that one down quickly. No need to overthink that one. Stacy will walk away with a par. Feels good to clean it up after the last hole. Yeah, for sure. We know she's looking for some green on that card. Here we are on hole four, a 381 foot par three. This hole is slightly downhill with an elevated basket. The cart path on your right and behind the basket is out of bounds. You can play it short and bail out left to the fairway and be safe all day. But if you want to get a birdie, you're going to have to be a little aggressive, maybe throw directly at the basket. And, you know, the risk there is going out of bounds long, possibly throwing a little too hard and going out of bounds right over the sidewalk. Haley King taking the right side hyzer shot. She'll have about a 50 foot putt at it. Yeah, I feel holes like these, the key can be to club down one from what you might typically throw in this range. Finishing straight, you're gonna get a lot of slide on a downhill hole like this and landing flat is crucial. Obviously that's wind dependent though. Looks like maybe a touch of headwind playing here today. Jessica Weiss with a powerful hyzer shot she sneaks up there around the same area as the other ladies. Let's see if Stacy can get inside circle one. Yeah, if you can crest that hill that they both got collected on, you can slide into the circle nicely, but 
And this is how a lot of people play the hole. They just bail out early, safe and left, pitch up, take a three and move on to the next. Yeah, so, as soon as you flip this one right out of the hand, you're, you're out of bounds pretty much. You said it. It's a little long for an upshot on an elevated basket, but we'll see if Stacy can capture that par. Haley King for birdie. Oh. Wow. She's firing today, you guys. Good to see her focused and locked in. Ooh. Oh, two cage hits. Yeah, Jessica's putter looks as good as we've seen it so far in the tournament today. Stacy, great par putt from her. You know, I feel like Jessica really wants this win because she's had it in the past and she's been hunting a big win lately. So, you know, she knows she can get the job done here. She's done it before. And I feel like her putting is just more deliberate today than we saw on day one. For sure. She's definitely attacking the basket more so than kind of trying to float it there. And it's good to see. Because that's the stuff you got to do to get wins like you're talking about. You can't be floating at the basket. You really got to be aggressive. And if you're not, somebody else on the course is and it might be their day. Everyone walking away with a par. On to the fifth. It's a gap shot par three. Another upper 300s range. So this one's going to be a nice flex distance driver for most of these ladies looking to get it to hold to the right for the majority of the flight and then finish straight and gentle on the ground. You do have this hazard bunker to the left here that can come into play and the tree just sort of the basket that you kind of ideally wanted to squeak it barely right of. But either way, if you're close to that tree, you're going to be happy. Haley going wide. You will see this in certain wind conditions for the more powerful FPO players. Forehand is in play as well for those who do have the distance. Weiss taking that left side turnover route. Looks like the disc is flexing back. Let's see if she can stay out of that hazard, and she does. She'll have a nice putt at it. I'm having a hard time not feeling proud of seeing her throwing these backhands after asking it and just seeing the success she's having. Ronsley also taking that left side. Doesn't quite get the ante angle on it, so she'll have a safe bell out to the left. Give herself a clean up shot. Ooh. Own puts it up in the air, but doesn't quite connect. It's funny seeing the bullseyes back to regular size after practicing on them as pretty big all week and you forget how small the bullseye truly is. Really hard to earn that bullseye throwing stat in our game. Almost takes a little bit of luck too in terms of how the ground play ends up. Jessica Weiss for birdie. Ooh, and you saw she got the flight plate you know, the wind got underneath that, sort of acted like a kite and just carried past the basket. Own, on the other hand, sinks her par putt. Yeah, a bit flatter. You might see that one sink in. A player like Own, very good putt for windy conditions. And Haley King's upshot went a bit long, but didn't matter at all. She'll take a par here on the fifth. I do notice a lot of players in Las Vegas, more so than most places, have some tape on their fingers and stuff. It's so dry out here. You're constantly having to put lotion on to keep your hands going. And uh, I don't know, for me, and I know a lot of other players, your hands get really clammy in the dryness too. So you have to use chalk a lot and that just dries out your hands even more. So the desert definitely takes a little toll on your hands. It's part of the Vegas experience. Yeah. This looks perfect. Off the basket. Now it's rolling. It's headed for the OB. This needs to sit. Oh my goodness. It's safe. Right on the line. 
She's going to have about a 30-foot putt for the win. Okay, here we go. The putt is up. Boom, it's in. Strong side with authority. What an incredible moment. Yes. It has a turn for those guys that don't have a lot of power. It's fast and it's got good glide. Here we are on hole six, a 285 foot par four. Some call it the island hopper. I call it a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. I got a three on day one, but you know, this hole is all about strategy. It depends on the wind. I feel like you need to be confident in your game plan when you step up to it. You cannot throw with any doubt in your mind. Are you gonna go for the green? Or are you gonna play the layup and the layup? Whatever it is, be confident and execute it. Haley King up first. She's going for the layup, it mm. looks like. She's attacking and she to the island? It. Wow, skips over the string and she's in bounds on the green. She'll be putting for an eagle. She's coming to play today, you guys. And that was two hyzered right out of Owen's hand. She was going for the layup shot on the first island. She'll end up out of bounds. Ooh, Jessica Wee swings that to the left and hits that bush, and she's out of bounds as well. Both her and Own will proceed to the first drop zone. Let's see if Stacy can stick it in bounds. She's chosen the Castaplast Berg super popular disc. I feel like disc. this disc isn't made for it's this too, hole almost. It's too left. But, yeah, there's too much angle again. And she is out of bounds as well. So three from the drop zone and King on the green. Yeah, you know, her competitors are probably questioning the strategy they chose here, and that's really the trick of this hole is it, it just makes it really hard for you to make a decision on what strategy you want, and well played back in by Jessica there. Stacy conceding the likely bogey. Stacy and Own both just going to the next island. Ooh, that's scary. And Stacy unfortunately doesn't make the green. Yeah, kind of with that premium plastic on a hole like this can make all the difference to me. Honestly, it's such a tiny spot. Two, three feet can make a big difference. So I'd like to see maybe some baseline plastic there or even a backhand. I don't know. That forehand on such a touchy shot is just so scary to me. Oh, I wanted to see Haley capture that eagle putt. She'll have a drop in birdie, so no shame in that. I wonder if the time and pain of watching her other teammate or her other car mates play in the hole like that had any effect on her rhythm on the putt. But right, Stacy Ronsley will take a triple bogue here. Weiss taps in her par putt. That's two triples for Stacy. Yeah, and that's going to be tough to recover from, but it's not uh, it's not not doable out here. There's a lot of holes left and a lot of birdieable holes. Still I mean, she could holes. get hot and birdie or eagle out the rest of the round. Absolutely. And that is the hardest hole on the course once again. So grabbing some strokes from our second card here. And Stacy definitely needs to start grabbing some green to mitigate some of those upstrokes she's collected here early. The seventh is going to be a scorable hole. It's just a matter of the angle that you're able to land your disc on here, depending on if you want to go straight at it with a slower, maybe fairway shot that you can land and slide up, or you can swing it out to the right and play the late skip and kind of collect yourself into this down slope. Either way, there's a couple trees around the green that can make certain putting angles more difficult than others. Because this is slightly downhill, it's easy just to send your disc too far straight and go out of bounds over the cart path behind the basket. Yeah, you really don't want to air over this hillside unless you are playing the hyzer collecting back in. And the trees surrounding this basket are pretty low, so a lot of times you have to do a crouch putt or maybe even a putt from a knee if you do get close to the basket. Haley King is up there putting for birdie. 
Jessica, the ace line <gasps> in. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate all these backhands, Jessica. You're putting a smile on my face, I gotta say it. I knew we were gonna get a run back for that. Thank you, Flight Factory. Weiss with a full send. That thing had me a believer there. I love a flare skip. Yeah, that skips a little bit straighter and more and more low. You never know. That thing could have found it. Own Scoggins taking that hyzer route, but it doesn't look like it's going to finish. Is it going to stay in bounds? Oh, just not quite enough hyzer angle on that one. And that's just what I mentioned earlier. It's easy just to throw it a little too hard. Go out of bounds backside. Let's see if Ronsley can get up there for a birdie putt. Make Looks up some more strokes. Angle here, but that she, needs to chill. Whatever disc that is has been a little too straight on her a couple times in a row now. Let's see if she makes an adjustment next time she thinks about using it. Own has a new tool. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's the, the meter stick. Honestly, guys, I think it's really important to understand how big a meter is based on the shoe size you have. I wear a size 13. I get three steps and three inches, and that's a full meter. I see a lot of players with much smaller shoes taking only three steps and not that three inches. And I think you need to understand how many steps you truly get because it can really make your stance that much more comfortable. I mean, and don't you want to be closer to the basket for a putt? Absolutely. You're enough. allowed to be. Yeah, and then you can have as wide and comfortable, comfortable as a stance as you can possibly get. And don't you want that too? Especially for a taller player like Stacy. Hmm. The wind got underneath that. I feel like it was online. And then as we saw with one of Jessica putts earlier, it just got away from her. We have King for birdie from the knee. She gets it. As I mentioned, those trees, they're guarding it. You know, you really have to work for the birdie here. A skip away. <laughs> Maybe not a bad putt to have a headwind on to help keep the, that disc lifting as I you have agree. to putt low. This is actually my favorite hole on the infinite course. It's a fun one to throw. It is. The key here, a lot of these ladies played more of the late fade shot, but you can also kind of play it straight and just land it circles edge short. That's, a, that's a, definitely a fun shot to throw. I feel like you could skid you know, half of you the way there absolutely, even. Absolutely, yeah. It's Learning not bad because then it's the, matching the angle and it's, yes. it's not going to be able to fly once it crisps that little hill. It's fun to learn how to play the terrain out here in Vegas. Let's check out this par five, hole eight, 735 feet. If you're a big distance girl, you can get an eagle here. You want to send a drive out as far as you can. And then you have a choice on your upshot. Are you going to lay up or are you going to try to attack the green? I'd say most of the ladies are very capable of getting a birdie here. This is a very generous par five if you have a decent drive. Otherwise, I'm hoping to see someone uh, get an eagle. Haley King up first. Yeah, I think one of the keys we've seen here is trying to move the disc to the left to open up your angles into the green. But honestly, as long as you're inbounds off the tee, birdie is very in play as long as you're able to make a mature decision on the next shot. And some wind they're maybe not expecting coming at the head, I would guess, after seeing two of them hold it too straight. Jessica with the hands on the hips did not expect that disc to carry so far right on Scoggins. And her disc tracking in the same direction. Let's see if Stacy fully believes what's going on now and makes an adjustment. Yeah, there's that hyzer angle. You can tell she didn't try to overpower that one and really focused on just hitting the angle so she could get over to the left and now she's gonna be able to attack for that eagle look. I feel like that's a key on a lot of these Vegas par fives for you ladies is just put yourself in position somewhere where you can take another shot off the tee and eagle a lot of times will be in range. Own Scoggins playing the layup, so she is in pos position to play for birdie. Weiss with a nice uh, forehand layup hanging out next to Own. Yeah, showed a lot of power on that forehand. And King just airing out over to the safe side of the fairway. 
She'll be up on the high side. I like that because you can see down on the basket. Yeah, a lot of times the more visibility you have, the easier your eyes can perceive depth. So something to note for certain holes. And even though that shot was low, as we mentioned, a lot of times you can get a couple hundred feet just skipping here. So what might be a worm burner at home, it could be a great shot in Vegas. Yeah, and either way, she didn't need much to lay up to where she was going for because she, she decided not to go for that aggressive eagle play. Oh, and looking for this Is it one gonna to roll check back in? up. And no. You know, I have seen that corner act as a vortex all weekend. <clears throat> People are throwing overstable discs at it, expecting them to hyzer back to the green, and it's not. It's just getting sucked over, out of bounds, again and again. Let's see if Jessica Weiss can stick the green. Looks like she didn't quite commit to going at the basket. Is she safe? Couldn't she looked tell. to be safe, but definitely a longer putt than she would like on a hole like this. Ronsley with the bird for her upshot. And she plays that well. She'll have an easy looking putt for birdie. Yeah, and like you said, this one is down in a bowl. So when you are up there on those couple ridges surrounding the short side of the circle, it's kind of nice being able to putt down at it. Good touch from Haley on that forehand approach. Showing her combination game she has. And even though Owen went out of bounds, she went out of bounds, you know, near the basket. So she was able to cash in a long putt for par. You can see she isn't really happy about that body language. Not looking too excited. Yeah, very attackable hole. She's looking to score on and she made multiple mistakes there. Ronsley tried the proposal putt, misses the birdie putt. Jessica, on the other hand, does connect her putt. As does Haley for the birdie. And we saw hole eight play at a quarter stroke under par on the third day here. So no eagles today. Interesting. But, uh, you know, we saw a birdie. That we did have fun. a we did have a different wind direction than day one, so it definitely Absolutely. played a factor. You could see on those first three shots, especially. Hole nine is a 390 foot power par three. You do have a bit of a backstop, step backstop green, so you can really hammer into this one and trust that you can't go long. The key is to pick which gap you want to hit off the tee, and then to land at an angle which allows some ground play. A couple obstacles on the green, including some low hanging branches and a big bushy palmetto that you'll have to navigate once you get up there. Haley King up first, taking a gap shot, keeping it low, but she gets up there for about a 40 footer. This is one of those holes you can kind of bail over the gap to just take an easy three, but if you really want to get the distance, you do have to challenge the gap and push it low as we've seen these players do so far. Own Scoggins looking at about an 80 foot putt. Ronsley up next. Also taking a lower shot. Wow. Yeah, a bit inside, but you can just see the energy she had on that disc. Really good skip. Ronsley is inside the circle. She'll be putting for birdie. And Jessica Weiss doing the opposite. She's wow. going that sky flex shot. Is it going to come back? It's safe. A little overturned. Definitely had I think the potential. geese liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Was Maybe. it the two hot geese? <laughs> Own with a good up shot, so she'll have a nice par putt. 
You definitely get the barrage of geese at times flying in on you, squawking at you. Here and there, you gotta move them out of your way, but Jessica said no problem there, and please sit down. Thank you. Excellent. Haley King for birdie. Oh, just a bit too much turn out of the hand, and it caused it to drop out of the air. Really good pace on that putt, though. Ronsley connects for birdie on this 390-foot hole. Definitely one of those power separators, separators for the FPO field. I love how gentle uh, Jessica Weiss's putt is from up close because I putt completely opposite. <laughs> Mine often hits the pole and bounces out, and Weiss's putt just looks so soft and finessed into the chains. Yeah, you really use the use your long levers and drive it drive it in there. And here we see. Jessica, even on the round, pretty steady so far. She's looked strong. Stacy had some early trouble, but just finished with a strong birdie. Haley King just really doing work out here. Already at five under through the front nine. It's incredible. I can't wait to see what she does on the back. A lot of more birdie and eagle opportunities. Let's check out this leaderboard. Katrina Allen still showing us who's boss out here. Yeah. Henna, though, not letting her take her foot off the gas, making making sure to keep her honest, so. Appreciate you guys tuning in to this round three front nine coverage of the Las Vegas Challenge. Please come back and see us for the back nine.